guys <coughs> guys ang link code me so hello everybody and welcome back to my channel it's me again your girl dayanara and today we are talking about how it feels like dating german men yes these are the things I wish I've known before I actually started dating these guys because nobody told me nobody yeah so to my girls out there I was like you know what maybe I should try dating European men or maybe I should start you know getting to know men from this side of the world then I guess this video is for you. you know, I'm not saying that I'm an expert on this topic, but I had my fair share on German men. Let's say I was dating quite a few, <laughs> so I know. And after dating this quite a few, I, I came to realize now I know what they are like. You know, these people are not easy. You know what I mean? I am saying this because I am a Filipina and Bisaya and in my country it's a very different in the third world country it's very different and then when I came here and met these guys and started actually dating these guys I was like oh my god culture shock oh my god is this normal you know what I mean so first of all we're gonna talk about courting German men they actually don't court they maybe they will flirt but it's they're also not so good in flirting mm -hmm. i wish you're not german and looking at this video i'm sorry you have your good side wait a bit so german men they don't court you know courting in the, in my country in the philippines you know girls if you're a filipina you're watching this you know what i am talking about you know in the philippines i am a girl of course i'm a girl and a guy likes me and this guy wants to be my boyfriend so this guy is like hey Tayana, you know what I, uh, I find you cute do you want to be my girlfriend that's like philippine style no? and then the filipina will say yeah maybe so then the guy starts to court this girl take her out to dinner or take her out to the cinema or take her out to the park and maybe it takes three months or a year some people some girls they're they want to actually let the men sacrifice so it takes like two years before they actually say yes you can be my boyfriend now let's make it official so that is courting no in the philippines we do that but here in germany they don't do that which is weird maybe you dated like let's say like four weeks now and then the guy just say are we together or you know what I mean let's make it official and it, that's it you know what I mean then your boyfriend and girlfriends there's no courting there's no like middle ground or there's like no middle stage in between you know what I mean it's like you're you you and this guy are compatible can we make it this official so you're official so you're girlfriends and boyfriends that's it easy so that's number one no courting number two are German people or are German guys weird yes they're weird <laughs> because in Germany chivalry is dead chivalry is dead yes you heard it right it's German men most of the guys here are you know maybe because they're very busy and everyone is working that's why they they will treat a girl not princess or not a queen they're just gonna treat you you know they know that you're a girl but they're not gonna treat you differently you will not receive a special treatment uh, yeah so you work together you're not they're not gonna some guys of course some guys they still opening doors for you you know in the Philippines when when you're on a date it's like 90% the guy is expected to pay the bill. You know what I mean? It's not even a question. Unless the guy is a real asshole, then 
you're gonna pay which is I you know what I mean if the guy said like come on let's go on a date so the guy guys pay here in Germany if you are on a date with a guy you know if you actually arrange to go dine out in a certain restaurant or in a movie <laughs> it's different when you're on a date or you get invited on a date because when they say they're inviting you to go eat or to go dine out then that means they're paying the bill but if they didn't say that they're gonna invite you maybe maybe you're gonna pay half of the bill which is like wow is this for real <laughs> you know what I mean it's crazy man they're not cheap but they are so that's number two guys bring your money with you on a date yes so number three when it comes to love German guys are very expressive yes I mean I'm talking about when you're already together you know in my country we are very conservative so we don't show public display of affection we don't kiss in public or we don't hug in public we don't even you know what I mean cuddle in public because people think like what are you doing get a room you know what I mean maybe because we're Catholic and we don't just do that but here in Germany oh my god guys when they're in love people will know that we're in love you know what I mean because they're gonna kiss you in public or wherever you're in, in a train station or you're waiting to go pee pee or you are in McDonald's or wherever you are boom yes they are not ashamed to just let it go yes they're gonna kiss you in the middle of the street they don't give a fuck if people are there oh, they kiss you like that wow is it amazing German man nah? so they're like very affectionate so this is real story guys so I was in a train station I was waiting on a on my train and there was these two couples <coughs> guys <coughs> guys I'm linked me we sat on a bench you know like the the train looks you know when you go to the train and there's like chairs you know and I was sitting here and the couples were sitting really in front of me and it feels like watching porn guys because they were just kissing you know you can see that they're oh god I was like oh my god oh, okay yeah they really don't care they're just in love that's Germany German people when they're in love and they want to kiss a person they just do it yeah wherever you are you're in a swimming pool you're in the top wherever you are when they want to kiss you they're gonna kiss you they're gonna hug you or whatever they're very passionate yes so that's so if you are dalagang Filipina guys what can I maging dalagang Filipina watch out they're very Number four, German men are very honest. Oh guys, they are brutally honest. So if you're someone who's very sensitive and gets easily offended, then I think German men, you should not ask them questions because they're gonna say what they feel or they're gonna say what their opinion is. When they want your food, they say it tastes good. If you are gonna ask them, does this dress look fat on me? It looks like you're an old woman. Don't wear that. Easy, na? So if a German guy says that they love you, 95% of the time, they really mean it. They just don't say things that you want to hear. They say things because that's what they think. You know, they say things because that's the thing. They think that it's real or it's their opinion. German people are very outspoken. They're very frank. So if you're a person who is very unstable emotionally, I think you should not surround yourself with German people very, very, because they're very toxic. You know what I mean? They don't think about your feelings. They don't waste time, basically. They don't waste time. They just say what they think. Oh, number five. This is no joke. They plan everything. It's crazy. For example, if you are dating with a German man, you know that he is German because he plans things. This is the plan. Or maybe he's on his phone. At 8, I'm gonna pick you up. At, uh, at 
15, we are driving to the restaurant. At 8.20, probably we're done eating. So at 8.45, we go directly to the movie park. And yeah, at 9, I must, I must drive you home because at 10, I must work. That's really German. Or if you travel together with a German guy, expect that he already planned everything and the plane ticket is already booked. The, the the restaurant is booked, everything is booked, guys. You don't have to worry about things because they already done it for you. You got it covered, huh? Nah? Or if you're actually marrying a German guy, they're gonna think about everything. You're not even married yet, but they're gonna think already about your child's support, child insurance, where the child is going for kindergarten. Um, if you're gonna get sick, what will happen? They're gonna everything guys they just cannot be spontaneous you know what i mean they just want the things are planned before you even do it you're a person who wants to be spontaneous german men probably a headache for you so yeah that's for you guys so number where are we number six german men are very linguistic so they can either speak English, they can either speak French, they can either speak Spanish, they can either speak Latin. You expect that if you're dating a German man, they are very knowledgeable in things. They are engaged in something, they want to know more about it. To know a little bit of a different language, then maybe German guys for you. Oh, number seven. German men don't want small talks. They want deep conversation. Talk about things like how do you see yourself in 10 years or what you think about this political view or things like that. So, uh, girls, you must have a little brain. A little bit, a little bit. Not too much, a little bit because they're just not, not gonna talk about, oh my God, it's a little bit rainy today. Number eight. If you're dating a German guy, German man, they want a woman who can stand on their own. Because it's a, a first world country, they wouldn't expect a woman just to stay at home and be, you know what I mean? They would want a woman who also works or will help them in, you know, in a daily activities and things like that. They want a woman who's confident. So that's it you guys. I hope those tips were able to help you on your dating journey. And I will see you next time on my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you then. Bye bye.